Well, as Josh just mentioned, a tornado in Sabine Parish caused a widespread damage in the Peaston community early Sunday morning. Now, the sheriff's office says at least 15 homes and many outdoor sheds as well as vehicles have reportedly been damaged or destroyed. Now, families were displaced and others are still recovering in hospitals. And Fox 33's Darren Todd joining us live from Sabine Parish this morning to tell us more about that damage. Darren, good morning. Hey, good morning, Fernanda. This scene here is just so devastating. That's the only word I can use to describe what I see here. This community is trying to come together after that tornado came and just ripped their community apart. I want to start away and kind of show you what right what's right here behind me. It looks like a pile of trash, but this this is someone's home. This is someone's memory. This is someone's life right here in all of this debris. And then not even just this site here. If you take a look, you see the trees here. You see the trees are down. You see over here, I'm being told there were other homes and other places where people played and you even see this trailer here where horses were at once upon a time like it's damaged as well now we we had a crowd here yesterday and they were able to talk to volunteers and people in the community just getting their feedback on what happened out here and this is what they had to say peace in louisiana are coming together to pick up the pieces after what is left after a horrific eft tornado tears through their community. How lucky we were that the house wasn't damaged any more than it was and then everything that is damaged can be replaced. It all happened just before 5 a.m. Sunday morning in the southeastern part of Sabine Parish, causing widespread damage and wind speeds estimated to be around 125 miles per hour. The storm took down trees and power lines, knocking out power to more than 2,800 customers. The National Weather Service reports 30 homes were damaged in all, and 10 to 15 of them were heavily damaged, destroyed, or rendered unlivable. We have two other carports that uh, is blown, and we're not sure where they're at right at the moment. Justin and Alicia Westfall's family are victims of the tornado, losing their home, belongings, as well as some family members receiving serious injuries from the storm. And their entire home is pushed against a bunch of trees, um, probably 60 yards away from where their home w was set. Tommy Giles with the Shreveport Volunteer Network wasted no time in coming to help. There's volunteers out here right now that are rummaging through, helping them find all their personal belongings, family pictures, um, anything that's of a value that they can take back and restore for the family. Also, students from a local high school assisted with the cleanup after getting news that their principal's home was destroyed. We're a small, loving community that just love her and we just wanted to come together and, and help her out. And that's what we've been doing. It's just been here for several hours, just trying to pick up some debris and, and just help her out as best as we can. Nevertheless, neighbors are resilient with the cleanup and appreciative that no lives were lost. Houses can be replaced, lives can't. So we're grateful that God protected life. And Fernanda, that is the good news out of all of this. I just spoke with the pastor who actually lives on this property as well, and he says that the good, the good news is that no lives were lost. Now, the Sabine Parish Sheriff's Office will be monitoring this area for the next upcoming days just to make sure that things are running smoothly and that they are getting the help that they need. But if you're watching this broadcast at home and if you want to donate clothes, food, money, go on over to our website, arclatexhomepage.com. It has a whole list of options and ways that you can donate and you can help. But for now, reporting live here in Sabine Parish, I'm Darren Todd. Back to you, Fernando. Thank you, Darren.